Hello, everybody. Um, there's an interesting discussion on Friday about black spot and whether... Whatever. That's very nice. Sorry, I just noticed the glasses. <laughs> Quick, turn it around so we can get her on. Okay, so... And the feedback in general, what Jeff was saying was you guys would not necessarily want to just notice black spot and bang, treat it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think I think we decided from the big area. Yeah. That we wouldn't. Yeah. Uh, it's just a small area we call new furthest or yeah. And you want to have a little bit? Yeah. That's the way we try to bring the customer and get a quote yeah. together. Yeah. Okay. How we try how we portrayed it was is if if it was ourselves, it's the same when you took a car in for a service mm. and they find you've got a leaking head gasket and they went and changed it without telling you. Yeah. It'd be quite within the rights not to pay. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So if you've seen the black spot and they don't inform the customer, you treat it, and they say, I'm not paying for that. Yeah. I use it as me. Yeah. Um, okay, on that front, one question I want to pose to you is, uh, you're using your own value system to judge on what to do for that customer. Mm. Are, you the, are you the type of person who is my customer? So, so if you had pool in the backyard, yep. lawn to be mown, so are you the type of person that pays someone to come and do that or do you see value in doing that or would you rather mow the lawn yourself, take care of the pool yourself and not spend the extra $200? Yeah. So if you can explain someone how to do it. Yeah. I'll do it. Yeah. yeah. So don't get caught in a situation where you're imposing your own values on a customer who is not like you. Because they're more like me. Because I am the type of person who will pay someone to do it. I have a lawn mowing man. Yeah? We did have one, but now I've kicked the ball back down. It's not me. Yeah. That's still turf down. Yeah. So I'm not saying that what you what you've said about black spot is wrong, but what I'm saying is be careful of imposing your own values and your own yeah. things on and assuming that that customer is the same because they're not. Our customer is someone who's time poor, works very hard, probably his wife is working as well, and he's. And he's really, or he or she, are really interested more in in uh, swimming in the pool rather than spending the time to take care of it. The guys that are DIY has already come up to the shop, and they do they get our assistance to DIY. If you're in a backyard on a regular service, they're going to be leaning more towards ringing up saying, "What's the go with these spots? Isn't that black spot? Why didn't you guys treat it?" Well, that's Mark. That's Mark Marnie, yeah. He doesn't want to know. He doesn't want to get the hassle. He just wants to know that it's been yeah. sorted. On that, majority, uh, one majority. of your customers are, are sort of the old lady who has her own everything she buys herself. Yeah. People like her yeah. would not want us to put the black spot down. Yeah. It, it's, it comes, but it, it, every, every customer's different. Customer every customer's different, yeah. Customers, they would prefer to be told yeah. if you're going to do a little treatment like that. Mm -hmm. I'm sure we can call but they don't them on for, with it. that's one of the things you said. Um, I don't know how you've read it, but if it was a small area, we'd call them and say, right, you've got black spot yeah. on your pool, we're going to do this, it's going to cost you approximately $40. Okay, so that's my questioning yeah. is, is with a black spot treatment, do do they get the whole, so do, do they have the whole lot, the whole 1kg? Yeah, do we, do we have a pack? And with bad, with the bad installs, with the bad black spot things, which for our regulars we shouldn't have that anyway, because we shouldn't have a big ba uh, infestation. But do we have some sort of a pack that you carry that has the everything you need in there to treat it? Instructions, link to YouTube. So there you go. There's your $99 black spot kit, sir. 
I'll do the first part of it, boom, boom, boom. Watch the YouTube video to see what you've got to do following up. <coughs> yeah, well, we'd need to think about it. The other, the other thing that this prompted again, a good discussion to have, is do we need to use our coloured cards to identify the type of customer we have rather than the type of service we're doing? Because on the cards already we have full service, etc., etc. Would it be handy for you guys to know that this person leans more towards DIYing and wants to know everything and the next one that you have is like me and just, I don't give a fuck about the price champ, I just want that pool right. If you yeah. see something wrong, yeah. do it. Mm. Yeah? Not all just have, have a circle or a red marker on the top or something like that. Like, I don't need to change the card colour. Well, I'm saying, we've got card, we, we just changed card colours already, mm. and I'm just saying that's maybe over-processing where we've got the card colours mm. there as well as the highlight of what it is, and the service type appears on the run sheet anyway. Maybe we can already use the card colours that we have to say that's the type of customer they are. That's the type, you know, they would like a phone call for these treatments. This guy doesn't care, just do it. I want the pool to be clean, clear, healthy. I don't want the wife whinging at me, blah, 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 blah. Well, it's the wife going, my husband's useless and I just want it done, blah, blah, blah. Use his, use his credit card details, whatever. You know, we can have a few different customer types that we identify. And then it's a matter of us talking to them and saying, okay, we like to know how far you want to want us to go ideally you know for the health of the pool we get to do you just get us to do everything or we can give you a call when it's outside the ordinary bits and th bits and pieces if we need to give it a black spot treatment or whatever but what you need to do is you need to give us your what's your daytime phone number and put my number in your phone so it comes up because when I'm calling you I need you to pick up because it's going to be a quick inquiry, it's something important. I can't go to message bank and then come back later for it. I'm there and you need to be contactable. What are our thoughts on that? I would that's the way to go. Yeah. Help you out in the field mm. to understand what's going on between here and here in your customer's head. Okay. I think this is a, oh, the pack's a good idea as well. Stain pack. We can even offer little, like, discounts, percentage off. All those things, yeah. Okay. Cool.